in the land of ice and snow, where the winds forever blow, lies a land of mystery, Antarctica, wild and free. The glaciers tower high, and the penguins march by. In a land of stark beauty, where the sun shines bright and true. The sea is dark and deep, and the whales forever leap. In a land of wonder and awe, where nature reigns without a flaw. The cold is biting and fierce, but the heart of Antarctica is pure. With its vast expanse of white, it takes our breath away in its might. So come and explore the land of ice and shore, where adventure awaits in Antarctica's frozen gates. Antarctica is the fifth largest continent in the world. Covering an area of about 14 million square kilometers, it is almost entirely covered by ice. with an average thickness of 1.6 kilometers. Antarctica is the coldest place on Earth. With the lowest recorded temperature being negative 128.6 degrees Fahrenheit. It is also the driest desert in the world, receiving less than two inches of precipitation per year. Antarctica is home to the largest land mammal in the world, the blue whale. This is the only continent without a native human population. Humans have only been able to live in Antarctica permanently since 1957. Antarctica is home to 70% of the world's fresh water and 90% of its ice. Antarctica has no government and no permanent residences, and it is governed by the Antarctic Treaty System. Antarctica has 90% of the world's ice and 70% of the world's fresh water. The highest temperature recorded in Antarctica was 59 degrees Fahrenheit in the Amundsen-Scott South Pole Station in 2015. Antarctica is the only continent on Earth that has never been home to a war. History. 
The history of Antarctica is one of mystery, adventure, and discovery. For centuries, the existence of Antarctica was nothing more than a theory to explain the strange behavior of the winds and currents in the Southern Ocean. But as sailors ventured further south, in search of new trade routes and wealth. The reality of Antarctica began to take shape. The first known sighting of Antarctica was in the fourth century BCE by the ancient Greek philosopher Pythias, who described a land of ice and snow. Though he failed to reach the continent itself, Cook's voyages laid the foundation for future exploration and paved the way for the likes of American sealer John Davis, who is considered the first person to set foot on Antarctica in 1821. As the 19th century gave way to the 20th, the race to discover Antarctica was on. Explorers such as Norwegian Raoul Amundsen and Britain Robert Falcon Scott, who famously raced to the South Pole in 1911, pushed the limits of human endurance and ingenuity in their quest to be the first to reach the bottom of the world. But while the race for discovery and glory captured the headlines, it was the scientists and researchers who followed in the footsteps of these early explorers who would unlock the true secrets of Antarctica. From the first weather observations and mapping of the continent, to the discovery of ancient plants and animals frozen in the ice, the scientific study of Antarctica has provided a window into the past and a glimpse into our planet's future. Geology The geology of the Antarctic Peninsula is primarily composed of igneous and metamorphic rocks with some sedimentary rocks present in limited areas. The Antarctic Peninsula is one of the most geologically diverse regions on the planet and has been shaped by a complex history of tectonic activity, glaciation, and volcanic activity. The West Antarctic Rift System, a divergent plate boundary, runs along the length of the peninsula and has caused significant volcanic activity in the region. Additionally, the peninsula has been heavily glaciated, with ice cover reaching thicknesses of over 4,000 meters in some areas. This glaciation has had a major impact on the geology of the region, carving out valleys and shaping the landscape. Deception Island is an active volcanic island located in the South Shetland Islands, Antarctica. Deception Island is a caldera-type volcano, which means that it is formed through the collapse of the summit of a large volcanic edifice. The island has a horseshoe shape and is partially submerged. The volcanic activity on Deception Island is considered to be relatively recent, with the most recent eruption occurring in 1970. 
This activity has shaped the island's topography, creating a unique landscape that is dominated by craters, ash fields, and fumaroles, which are vents that release steam and gases. The La Mer Channel is known for its dramatic cliffs and glaciers. And it is often considered one of the most beautiful places in Antarctica. The geology of the La Mer Channel is primarily composed of granitic and gneissic rocks, which are types of metamorphic rocks that have been formed from the intense pressure and heat associated with the collision of tectonic plates. These rocks are characterized by their layered appearance and their resistance to erosion, which has contributed to the formation of the steep cliffs and towering peaks that define the channel. Despite its remote location, the Antarctic Peninsula is an area of active geological research with ongoing studies aimed at better understanding its geology. And its role in the Earth's tectonic and glacial history. Antarctica is known for its harsh and unforgiving environment, which is not suitable for most forms of life. However, there is still a wide variety of flora and fauna that can be found on the continent and its surrounding islands. Mosses and lichens are the most common forms of vegetation found in Antarctica. They are able to survive the harsh conditions by growing low to the ground and in rocky crevices where they are protected from the wind and cold. Some areas of the Antarctic Peninsula also have small shrubs, such as the Antarctic hair grass and the pearl wart, which can survive in slightly warmer areas. Algae can also be found in some areas, such as on the surface of melt ponds and in coastal areas. Antarctica is home to several species of penguins, including Emperor, Adelie, and Chinstrap penguins. They are able to survive the harsh conditions by huddling together for warmth and by having thick layers of feathers and blubber to insulate them from the cold. Seals such as Waddell, Crab Eater, Leopard, and Fur Seals can also be found in Antarctica. They use the sea ice as a platform for breeding and resting. Other marine mammals, such as orcas and killer whales, can also be found in the Antarctic waters, as well as different species of dolphins. Several species of birds also make their home in Antarctica, including petrels, skuas, and terns.
Despite the harsh conditions, Antarctica is also home to a variety of invertebrates, such as krill, which form the base of the food web in the Antarctic Ocean. Penguins. Penguins are one of the most iconic animals found in Antarctica and are a favorite among visitors to the continent. Here are a few key facts about penguins in Antarctica. Each species has its own unique characteristics and behaviors. Penguins are well adapted to the harsh conditions of Antarctica. They have thick layers of feathers and blubber to keep them warm in the cold temperatures. And are excellent swimmers. able to dive deep into the ocean to catch fish and krill. Penguins are social animals and form large colonies. Penguins typically mate for life. And the parents take turns incubating the eggs and caring for the chicks. Penguins are facing threats from climate change and overfishing, which can affect the availability of krill and fish, their main food source. Antarctica is home to around 20 million penguins, which represents about 70% of the world's penguin population. Penguins are an important part of the Antarctic ecosystem and play a key role in the food web. <laughs> Penguins in Antarctica. So small, yet so strong. marching across the ice in their tuxedo-clad throng, with feathers as black as the night and eyes so bright. They stand like sentinels, guarding the endless white. In the frigid winds, they huddle close, against the cold that threatens to tear them apart. But their bond is unbreakable, their love ever glow. For in this harsh land, they have found a heart. With their dance and their songs, they celebrate life. As they waddle and dive into the icy sea, they remind us of the beauty that is wild and free. 
so let us cherish these creatures, these penguins of the pole. For they remind us of a world that is still whole. And as they glide across the ice, so elegant and bold, we are humbled by their grace and the stories they hold. Future. In the near future, Antarctica will continue to be a center of attention for scientists, policymakers, and tourists alike. As one of the last truly wild places on Earth, it is a symbol of our planet's natural beauty and a critical part of the global ecosystem. For scientists, Antarctica holds a wealth of knowledge yet to be uncovered. The frozen continent is a laboratory for studying the effects of climate change and a living example of the delicate balance between the environment and the planet. Researchers from around the world are coming together to study everything. From the behavior of penguins, to the melting of the ice caps, for policymakers, Antarctica is a unique challenge. On the one hand, it is a wilderness area that needs to be protected from the effects of human activity. On the other hand, it is also a resource that needs to be managed and conserved for future generations. The Antarctic Treaty, signed by many of the world's nations, provides a framework for protecting the continent and its surrounding waters. But new threats are emerging, including tourism and fishing, which are putting additional pressure on the ecosystem. For tourists, Antarctica is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to experience one of the world's last great wildernesses. However, the growing number of visitors each year raises concerns about the impact of tourism on the environment and the management of the region. New regulations are being put in place to manage the number of visitors and ensure that they have a minimal impact on the environment. In conclusion, the future of Antarctica will be shaped by a delicate balance between preserving its wilderness and supporting human activities that can benefit both the region and the world. Scientists, policymakers, and tourists will all play a role in shaping the next chapter in the story of Antarctica. Two yachts upon the icy sea. Sailing south to Antarctica. Through the wind and waves they glide. With hearts filled with wonder and glee. The sky above, a canvas of blue. The water is a mirror of the sun. The glaciers and mountains are a sight to behold. A journey began. The sea is calm, 
yet a force to be reckoned with. The winds pick up, and the sails unfurled. The yachts dance upon the waves. Their journey is a tale to be told. The silence of the ice, a symphony. The whale singing in the deep. The seabirds soaring overhead. Nature's secrets for us to keep. The journey is long, but the memories will last. of the beauty, of the wild, and the majesty of the past. Two yachts upon the icy sea, sailing south to Antarctica. The adventure of a lifetime, a tale to be told for all eternity.